Hi, graveyard friends. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you all have a happy holiday. So who remembers watching back in the day the animated TV movies, The Charlie Brown's Christmas, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Remember those uh, animated movies and TV movies from the 1960s and 70s? Did you have a favorite? Ever wonder what happened to any of those uh, voice actors? I have to say that uh, I have to do a shout out to one of my subscribers who suggested that I do this vlog. It wouldn't have occurred to me to do a vlog about our favorite classic animated Christmas specials and the people who made them, especially the voiceover actors who really, so many of them didn't get a lot of credit and unfortunately quite a few of them actually I've not been able to find their final resting places, but I have found a few and so that's who we're gonna visit today. So I'm going to start with the first Christmas special that I remember as a kid, and that was Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, which aired in 1962 and starred actor Jim Backus as Scrooge and Mr. Magoo, Maury Amsterdam as Brady and James, Jack Cassidy as Bob Cratchit and also Dick Wilkins, Les Tremaine as the Ghost of Christmas Present, and Royal Dano as Marley's Ghost. Actor Jim Backus died July 3, 1989, at the age of 76 in Los Angeles. He had suffered for many years from Parkinson's disease, but died from pneumonia. He's buried in the southwest corner of the center lawn section at Westwood Village Memorial Park. Backus appeared in more than a hundred movies and TV shows during his long and very successful career, and is best known for playing Mr. Magoo, from 1949 to 1989. He also appeared in a very popular 1950s TV series called I Married Joan. And then later in the 1960s, he appeared on Gilligan's Island. He's also well known for playing James Dean's father on Rebel Without a Cause in 1955. In the southeast corner of the same cemetery in the outdoor mausoleums is the crypt of radio, film, and TV actor Les Tremaine. You can see that it's all the way at the very top of the wall. In fact, you can just barely read the marker. And it's just two crypts above Wayne Rogers, who starred on the TV show MASH. Tremaine died on December 19th, 2003, at the age of 90, from heart failure. And while he appeared in more than 50 movies and TV shows, he's best remembered for being a radio and voice actor. Actor Jack Cassidy died on December 12th, 1976 at the age of 49 in West Hollywood, California in an apartment fire. And I remember it very clearly because I was living just down the street from his apartment at the time. Cassidy was a Tony Award winning actor and singer who appeared in more than a hundred Broadway productions, films, and TV shows. And he was also the father of singer David Cassidy. Royal Dano died May 15, 1994, at the age of 71, in Los Angeles, from pulmonary fibrosis. He appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows. And if you grew up watching Western TV shows like I did, then you'll definitely recognize his face from shows like Wagon Train, The Rifleman, Rawhide, The Virginian, Bonanza, Death Valley Days, Daniel Boone, The Big Valley and many others. He did the voiceover for Marley's Ghost, and he's buried here with his son at the Los Angeles National Cemetery. Maury Amsterdam was an actor and a comedian who died October 27, 1996, at the age of 87 in Los Angeles from a heart attack. He's probably best remembered for his role on the very popular 1960s TV sitcom, The Dick Van Dyke Show. His crypt is located in the Courts of Remembrance, straight back to the very last courtyard at Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills. His final resting place is just to the left of actress Isabel Sanford's crypt. 
The next Christmas special that I remember watching as a kid was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which first aired in 1964, and it starred singer and actor Burl Ives as Sam the Snowman. Ives died April 14, 1995, at the age of 85, from oral cancer. He died in Anacortes, Washington, and he's buried at Mound Cemetery in Hunt City, Illinois. During his long career, Ives appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows and created more than 100 songs and albums. He even won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for the 1958 movie, The Big Country. But he's probably best remembered for his Christmas songs and for his role as Sam the Snowman in this animated Christmas classic. Larry D. Mann was a Canadian actor who appeared in more than a hundred movies and TV shows, but he's probably best remembered for playing the boss in a series of Bell Canada commercials in the 1980s and for playing Yukon Cornelius in this Christmas special. Mann died on January 6, 2014 at the age of 91 in Los Angeles from natural causes. He's buried near the top of the hill at Eden Memorial Park in Mission Hills, California. Billy Mae Richards was also Canadian and she died September 10th, 2010 at the age of 88 following a stroke in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. She was the voice of Rudolph not only in this movie but also in Rudolph's Shiny New Year in 1976 and Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July in 1979. According to her Find a Grave memorial page, she was cremated and her ashes were given to family or friends. So unfortunately, she has no final resting place for fans to visit. And again, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out any information about the final resting places of the other voice actors, such as Paul Souls, who voiced Hermie, Stan Francis, who was the voice behind Santa Claus, and Peg Dixon, who was the voice behind Mrs. Claus. So if any of you watching know where they might be buried, please let us know in the comments section down below. The Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer character was created in 1939 by Robert May for a Montgomery Ward department store promotional booklet. May's brother-in-law, songwriter Johnny Marks, adapted the story of Rudolph into a song, and in 1949, singing cowboy Gene Autry recorded the song and it became a number one hit. And it's since become one of the most popular and best-selling singles of all time. It became the very first number one song of the 1950s. And songwriter Johnny Marks went on to write other Christmas classics as well, including Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, Holly Jolly Christmas, and Silver and Gold. Robert May died August 10th, 1976, at the age of 71, and is buried at the St. Joseph Cemetery in River Grove, Illinois. Johnny Marks died September 3rd, 1985, at the age of 75, and is buried at Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. Gene Autry was an actor and a singing cowboy on radio, in movies, and on TV. He appeared in nearly a hundred movies, had dozens of hit songs, and even hosted his own TV show, The Gene Autry Show, in the 1950s. Autry died of lymphoma on October 2nd, 1998, at the age of 91, in Studio City, California, just down the street from the Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills Cemetery, where he's buried today. As you can see, his gravesite is just inside the front gates, in the section to the right. His signature song was Back in the Saddle Again, but he's just as well known for his Christmas classics, Frosty the Snowman, Here Comes Santa Claus, Up on the Housetop, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which are still played every year on the radio during the holiday season. His epitaph reads, America's favorite cowboy, American hero, philanthropist, patriot and veteran, movie star, singer, composer, baseball fan and owner, 33rd degree mason, media entrepreneur, loving husband, gentleman. In 1965, the now Christmas classic, A Charlie Brown Christmas, premiered. 
It was directed by animator Bill Melendez, who also voiced the character Snoopy, and it was based on the comic strip Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz. Melendez died September 2nd, 2008, at the age of 91, in Santa Monica, California, and his ashes were given to family or friends. During his career, he received an Academy Award nomination for his work, 17 Emmy Award nominations, and he won the Emmy eight times. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find the final resting place of any of the other voiceover cast members of this popular holiday special. If any of you happen to know where any of them are buried, again, please share with us down below. And who could forget the 1966 animated holiday classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas? It starred actor Boris Karloff as the narrator and also as the voice of the Grinch. Karloff died February 2nd, 1969, at the age of 81, in Midhurst, England. He was cremated at the Guildford Crematorium, and his ashes are buried in the Rose Garden there. Voice actor Thurl Ravenscroft, who you may remember as the voice of Tony the Tiger for more than 50 years, sang the very memorable song, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. He died on May 22, 2005, from prostate cancer at the age of 91 in Fullerton, California. He was cremated and his ashes are interred at the Cathedral Memorial Garden in Garden Grove, California. When I was here a couple of months ago doing my vlog on what used to be called the Crystal Cathedral, I was so distracted with the other graves that I was visiting that I completely forgot to visit the final resting place of Thurl Ravenscroft and a few of you noticed and mentioned. Well then I went back and looked at some of the photos and videos that I did that I didn't use for the vlog and discovered that I had photographed this beautiful mosaic mural on the wall not realizing that the mural is actually made up of niches and the one at the very bottom left hand corner is the niche of Thurl Ravenscroft. So I visited his final resting place by accident. The voice of Cindy Lou Who was played by voice actor legend June Foray. June died July 26, 2017 in Los Angeles, California at the age of 99. Unfortunately, her final resting place is unknown at this time. Fans of the classic Rocky and Bullwinkle animated TV show will remember June Foray as the voice of Natasha and Rocky. In 1969, the animated Christmas special Frosty the Snowman first aired on CBS. It was based on the 1950 hit song of the same name, sung by Jimmy Durante. Durante died January 29th, 1980, at the age of 86 in Santa Monica, California. He's buried at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, not far from where he died, just inside the front gate to the left at the top of the hill, near actress Rita Hayworth and actor Jackie Coogan. Durante was a singer, comedian, and actor who appeared in nearly 50 movies, had numerous hit songs, and even had his own TV show from 1954 to 1956 called The Jimmy Durante Show. Jackie Vernon was a stand-up comedian and actor known as the King of Deadpan. He's best remembered for voicing the lead character Frosty in this special and in the sequel Frosty's Winter Wonderland. He died November 10th, 1987 at the age of 63 from a heart attack in Hollywood, California. He was cremated and has no final resting place for fans to visit. Voice actor Paul Fries was the voice of Santa Claus in this holiday special. And like the legendary voice actor Mel Blanc, Fries was also known as the man of a thousand voices. Fans will remember him as the voice of Boris Badenoff on the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. He also played Inspector Fenwick on the Dudley Do-Right Show and Commissioner Allstare and Weevil Plumtree in the George of the Jungle TV series. He also voiced multiple characters in Santa Claus is Coming to Town in 1970, and he played Jack Frost in Frosty's Winter Wonderland in 1976. He voiced Santa Claus once again in Rudolph's Shiny New Year in 1976, and voiced Jack Frost once again in Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July in 1979, and he voiced Father Winter in Jack Frost, also in 1979. 
Fries died on November 2nd, 1986, at the age of 66, in Tiburon, California. He was cremated and his ashes were scattered at sea, so unfortunately he doesn't have a final resting place for fans to visit. Actor Billy D. Wolf voiced the roles of both Professor Hinkle and the Magician. He appeared in many movies and TV shows, but is probably best remembered for his roles on the TV shows That Girl, Good Morning World, and The Doris Day Show. DeWolf died March 5, 1974, at the age of 67, from lung cancer in Los Angeles. He's buried at Mount Wollaston Cemetery in Massachusetts. And even two-time Oscar-winning actress and Hollywood legend Shelley Winters took part in a couple of these Christmas specials. She voiced the character Crystal in Frosty's Winter Wonderland in 1976 and Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July in 1979. During her long and celebrated career, Winters appeared in more than 100 movies and nearly 50 TV shows. She died on January 14, 2006, from heart failure at the age of 85 in Los Angeles. She's buried at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, just inside the front gates to the right, up on the hill, to the right of the Al Jolson Memorial. So when was the last time you watched one of these Christmas specials from our childhood? And which one was your favorite? I bought this Christmas hat years ago and it's been sitting in my closet ever since. I think I bought it for a party or something. I don't think I ever wore it. And I thought, well, hey, today would be a perfect uh, time to uh, wear it since I'm doing one of my Christmas and holiday vlogs from the graveyard. So as always, thank you for joining me today on my trip down memory lane. And thank you so much for all the thumbs up that you've given me this year, all the videos that you've shared with your friends and on social media. For all of you who have subscribed, and especially all of you who have left comments, I can't tell you how helpful the comments have been this past year. I think my videos get uh, better. Well, I guess you guys will have to be the judge of that, but I feel like they're getting better. Each video gets better than the one before, and a lot of that, most of that, I owe to all of you who have given me such really helpful feedback.